Hello everyone, my name is Reese Warren and welcome back to episode 5 and the final edition of the Unreal Engine tutorials. Today I want to cover uh, physics handles in Unreal Engine and actually manipulating the player by blueprint so that they can pick up objects and release them inside the game. So first thing I want you to do is, if you've not already got it, click this button and for this we're also going to be using the first person blueprint. Uh, so select the first person folder and then click blueprints and then double click first person character like so. This will actually bring up the event graph for the inputs of the first person character. We're not going to be changing any of this however we are going to be adding things to this. So first thing I want you to do is actually create functions. So we're going to use two functions in this. This is actually going to allow us to separate uh, numerous things actually inside the blueprint so that they're not disorganized. So the first thing I want you to do is type in grab object, like so, and then we're going to create a new one and call it release object. And then we're also going to need two new things inside the component editor. Uh, simply click add component and then select physics handle, like so. And then we're going to need another one uh, and we're going to get a scene object like so. Uh, the physics handle that's actually going to allow us to pick up the object but it can't assign a location to a physics handle uh, so you need to use a scene object to actually get the vector of that. Um, so double click the scene and yeah you will notice the viewport come up and we can actually change the location of the scene actor so simply drag it in front uh, I've done 50 by 50 so that should be perfectly fine, just simply compile and save after you've done that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go to the grab object and then we're going to drag a node out of this and we're going to type in get, oh sorry no, line traits by channel. Um, then the next thing I want you to do is get the first person camera, we're going to be using that as a reference. Uh, for the location of the object, so drag a node out of this and type in get world location like so and then simply get the return value, drag that into the start node of the line trace by channel. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is get the first person camera and type in get forward vector like so and then we're going to drag another node out of this and we're going to do vector times float like so. That's actually going to be the maximum location in front of you at which you can pick up an object, so the radius, essentially. Uh, 350 works perfectly fine, um, and yeah, then you actually want to drag another node out of this and type in vector plus vector, like so. Then get the world return value and drag it into the second node here, and then get the output return value and drag it into the end position like so. So that's actually done now. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is change this draw debug type in the line traits by, uh, into persistent. Next thing we want you to do is get this execute node here and we're going to create a branch like so. Uh, and that's actually going to check the condition whether it's uh, picked up an object or not. So first thing we want you to do is go to the out hit node here and then go to uh, break hit result like so and then that's actually going to allow us to take multiple um, yeah essential components which the variables output so then for this get the hit component and we're going to type in is simulating physics and then simply drag a return value into the condition like so and then we want to get the physics handle component from here and then drag it into the editor like so um, and then we want to actually tip true node here and then type in grab component um, oh it's actually automatically generated one I can get rid of that then um, and then in the hit component node we actually want to drag that into the component node like so and then we want to drag another one out of here and get world location like so uh, and then simply drag the return value and put that into the grab location like so. So that's actually done now uh, and then the last thing we need to do is set a new variable so I'm actually going to 
go into the variables and type in holding. Uh, that's actually the variable uh, which is, well actually we use is underscore holding. Uh, and then simply drag that in and then we're going to type set like so and we're going to set that variable to tree like so. So that's actually all there is to the picking up of the object. Now we actually man need to manipulate it when it's hit, like holding it and also releasing the object. So I will be right back. Okay then, so the next thing I want you to do is actually just compile and then save and then we need to go into the release object function like so. Simply drag a node out of this and then type in the release component physics handle like so. Um, and then the next thing I want you to do is drag a node out of this and set holding or is holding. Uh, oh, hang on, let me just drag a node out of that, that might be easier. Uh, and then set that to false like so by leaving that unchecked. Uh, that is all we need to do for the release component. Uh, it's then just actually sorting it out and getting it working inside of the event graph itself. So compile a lot and then save it. So the last thing we need to do is actually get this working inside the event graph itself and then it should be good to go. So simply click the event graph tab and then the first thing we need to do is actually make sure the scene component uh, which carries the vector is a child of the first person camera uh, that will solve any issues related to the location of the object uh, and then the next thing we need to do is right click in the blueprint and type in event tick like so that updates every time the game updates so drag a node out of this and then we're going to type in set uh, target location of the physics handle like so but since the physics handle doesn't actually have a location, we need to get the location of the scene. So drag a location, well, no doubt, an actual reference node, sorry. Type in um, get world location, like so. And then simply drag a return value out of that and put it into the new location node. So that is that finished, essentially. And the next thing is actually we need to make a toggle for the object itself. So simply right click and then type in key F, uh, uh, actually yeah, keyboard event F, like so, uh, and then when pressed uh, we actually need to go to a branch node, like so, that checks a, a boolean variable, um, and then we need to get the is holding boolean variable, so get the variable. Um, and then simply check the condition like so and if it is true then we need to actually call the function so if the player is holding we need to release the object so type in release object function like so and then if false we need to grab object like so now that's done uh, we've actually finished the blueprint, so I can highlight all of this, type in, or press the C key to write a comment, and then we can call uh, object interaction, like so, and then simply compile and save. Okay then, so the last thing we need to do is actually just test the object, so um, it should essentially work if we click the minimize button, um, and then click play. Like so, if I go into the level and then press the F key, I can actually pick up an object and then move it around in the level and press the F key to release it again. That will drop the object on the floor. And um, yeah, I can actually do this with pretty much anything. So that is this tutorial. I hope you found it informative. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the series of tutorials.